Hi everybody, I hope everybody's doing well. Well today I'm here to do a sort of a combination I think of things. I'll tell you what my 2019 goals are and then also be a little bit more specific with my YouTube channel. Um, so I'm gonna run through personal things that I have in my personal life, what I would wanna do, but then also the things that I'm gonna share with you guys as well. So it's my goals, it's my goals. And I'm hoping this year is a year that I can fulfill most of them. You know, um, it's been a challenge for me for, for a long time to really stick to real, real goals, but I'm feeling so good. I feel like I'm taking a turn in my health where I have energy. I have a lot of good motivation because I feel so good and I just hope to improve on my health. So that makes a huge difference, at least for me. So anyways, I have written down a couple of things, actually a couple, not really, <laughs> uh, several things. So I'm going to talk to you guys about, um, just some personal goals real quick before I get into the YouTube thing. Uh, personal goals. Um, this year I have taken over the reins of the bills, uh, paying bills and the budget. Uh, my husband did it for a good year and I don't know why we do this, but we, we always go back and forth with that. Sometimes he'll take over and sometimes I take over, but he's mainly been doing it just because my mental state hasn't been the best. And um, physically I haven't felt like up to any Anything. And again, this goes back to my health and working on my health and really trying to change that. And I feel like I can take on more responsibility and uh, get back to paying the bills, you know. Um, so financially put myself on a really tight budget to pay off some debt. Um, I've always been that type of person that has everything accounted for to the last penny. Even my checking account always balanced out to the penny. Um, and I have every month, everything is allocated. So I know I'm really good about budgeting. So I'm going to continue with that and hopefully pay off some debt. As far as my home, I want it more organized. I mean, I'm not going to paint or anything, but I want it to be more organized. Um, I definitely want to declutter and just really go into all of our rooms. I'm, I'm sitting pretty good when it comes to that, but I notice I'm starting to bring in more stuff into the house and this is a much bigger home. And so I really got to watch it. So I'm going to be going into all of the rooms and start decluttering and have a, have something in mind for myself because I do thrift a lot and I'm always able to buy, find good deals and things like that from for me personally, for my family, but it's gonna have to be one of those things where whatever I bring in, whether it be a blouse or something that I need to go into my closet and say, okay, I brought this in, what I, what haven't I worn in the past six months? You know, obviously, you know, it has can't be a seasonal thing because, you know, I don't wear summer clothes in, in the winter, but to look at my clothes realistically and say, okay, what, what aren't you wearing? And then take that out. So that's kind of that's kind of where I want to go with that because it could, I could easily start cluttering up the house again. So that's what I want to do is just declutter and organize, have everything in its place as much as possible. Oh, let's talk eBay real quick because that's that's a personal thing for me. Um, I was starting to get to a point where I was buying more than what I was listing, and in June this past June. Um, I made a decision to quit eBay and then uh, talking with my husband and um, he sort of said, you know what, give yourself a good year because I've been doing it for 10 years, but I, I noticed that it was stressing me out more than it was helping me out financially because I was buying more for my store than, but I wasn't listing. Um, my husband talked to me, he says, give yourself a good year. And he asked me, he goes, what are the things that you need to help you. And you know, I got some lights. I'm using them now. I got some lights. Um, I got a, a clothing rack, an industrial clo cl ugh, clothing rack. I got some backdrops. It's here. Um, I got uh, a shelf that went into my closet to house the shoes that are on eBay. So I was able to get more organized in that way. And I, I noticed I started putting up, but I was still buying. I was still buying. So this year, I really want to set limits on how much I will go out and um, source for my store. I, there has to be a balance um, because I'm a one woman crew. <laughs> I, can't, 
can't take the pictures, list everything, go buy stuff. It's, you know, I love shopping. I love thrifting. I love the thrill of the hunt, but it can't be all about that. And so as of really December, I'll be very honest, as of December, I've really cut that back big time. And um, I'm already feeling better about it. Um, I'm feeling like I'm going somewhere with my eBay. And I think, I think I'm doing pretty good, but I wanna continue that. So for my eBay is sourcing, either I'm going to give myself to source out three times a month or something like that. Um, right now, I told myself for the month of January, I am not sourcing anything. And that's because I'm sitting pretty, pretty good. I have a rack of clothes that need to be photographed, okay? And that's all I have left to photograph. So I have a rack of clothes to be photographed. On the bottom of the rack, I have clothes that are folded. Those are already photographed, but they need to be put on. So I'm, my goal is to clear that whole bottom rack which is not a big rack, it's not a big, big amount, but I'm a one woman crew, it takes me time. And so I'm going to put that on eBay and until I get that on eBay and those photographed, I'm not sourcing for the month of January. I am not sourcing. I will make an exception and that's if my husband and I go out of town. If we go out of town, which is hard for us to do and it's rare, I will source the, the places where we go to down there. And that's the only time. But other than that, for the month of January, I won't be sourcing. And then I'm going to put myself on a, a minimum amount to source out every month. I think that'll work out good for me. Um, it'll, it'll help me feel less stress as well. As far as YouTube, I really wish I can come on here a lot more. Uh, right now I have been coming on a lot and I do have videos recorded um, that you are gonna be seeing and that's because I gave eBay a little bit of a break. I have like about 300 plus items on eBay and those are selling themselves, you know what I mean? So uh, I sort of kind of rested after the rush of December and so I've been doing YouTube more. Here are the three focuses that are personal, okay? It has nothing to do with my kids or husband or anything, but is healthy eating, healthy cooking, learning how to cook, staying on keto. So my health, okay, my health. Then there's YouTube, okay? I wanna be interactive. I wanna do connecting the dots with you guys and other things. And then there's my eBay, which takes a lot of time as well. So there's a three, three parts here that I really need to learn how to balance. So as far as YouTube, okay. What I wanna to bring to you guys is obviously my connecting the dots journey. And in that will involve like um, cooking, um, you know, like showing you how I put things together. Um, also what I eat in a day is going to be part of it. These sit down videos to update you guys on my challenges. Um, I just did a video on the two challenges that I have. And so I wanna do those types of videos. Also topic videos. I already recorded my stress video that I've been wanting to put up. My next one should be vitamins. Then I wanna do a caffeine one and things like that. And so they're topic videos and I'm gonna do that as well. Uh, grocery hauls, I also have a uh, request to do like uh, take you to the grocery store with me and things like that. So that's going to be coming up. I also will be putting myself on a budget since I'm taking over the financial reins. Um, I'm going to be putting myself on a um, budget and I'm not sure if I'm going to incorporate that with like my weekly gro grocery hauls. I might, I'm not sure. And it won't be in January just because we're sort of uh, trying to figure out from Christmas damage, you know, we're trying to sort of sort the budget out a little bit better. So that probably will start in February as far as like grocery and budget kind of thing. Meal planning videos, I'll definitely do like weekly meal planning because I do my meal plans on a week to uh, week basis, but I don't buy a week's worth of groceries. I only buy like two, three days worth of groceries. Otherwise things go bad. So I'll figure out how, I, how I'll do that, but those are part of all the, the healthy, my health and weight loss, connecting the dots journey. As far as my makeup and beauty videos, definitely gonna do get ready with me. I love doing get ready with me videos. Um, I do have a pan that palette, which is the Lorac Pro 3, so I'll do monthly updates on those. Um, I'm going to be, and then obviously like hauls and things like that. There won't be a lot of hauls when it comes to makeup. Right now you're going to be seeing um, two big 
makeup hauls and that's because I got gift cards for Christmas so it took it takes time to order it and then you know make the video but I already have one from Ulta done and now I'm waiting for my Sephora um, purchases to come in and I, again I got those for Christmas with my gift cards uh, but there won't be really really a lot of makeup hauls I do like to buy at like 21 days of beauty for Ulta or when there is like a VIB sale for Sephora things like that I try to use my coupons and things like that but day to day there won't be much makeup hauls at all um i'm thinking of doing makeup baskets but i'm not sure i might just do something makeup baskets shop my stash but again those kinds of things probably will be more towards february story time i love doing story times because i feel like with story time you guys can get to know me better those i wanted to see if i could do one once a month but i'm not sure it depends if i have a topic or not so i do have a topic on miscarriage uh, i will try to record that um, sometime next week and get it up for you in uh, maybe the third week of january get that up for you guys um, i had five miscarriages so i really want to talk about the last one because there was a lesson in that one but uh, if you guys have any other subjects that maybe you guys want me to talk about story time and if I have a story on it, I will be more than happy to do a story time on it. But depending on how successful those are or depending how much you guys enjoy those, um, I want to just do once a month on those. But, you know, I can always add another one if if there's a request or things like that. But my next one or the one I want to do is on um uh, my miscarriage my my last miscarriage so that's that um, also vlogs I do like vlogging so there'll be some vlogs here and there because I do I do enjoy that so vlogs here and there um, and I was actually toying about eBay um, bringing some type of videos uh, when it comes to eBay so what I think I'll do once I start sourcing again I might do what I sourced out for eBay that kind of thing um, it won't be like a big old thing but just features when it comes to my eBay mainly the hauls that I do and what types of things I source um, and anything that I might think of to do but it won't be like videos on a constant basis so I might do what I've sourced out kind of videos and then um, I know somebody I watch she does um, what sold for her and i want to look at her video again on that i don't know if she does that once a month or once a week uh, what sold in a week or something like that i can do something like that too but i want to see her videos to really get some ideas um, also i just got in contact with um jesse she just did her goals for the year and she wanted to do some collabs so i offered to do a collab so maybe collab videos as well so that seems like fun yeah, and you know, maybe a couple of Q&As. I've never done a Q&A. A couple of Q&As maybe throughout the year. That would be fun as well. That's it, guys. That's it. I hope I kind of touched on everything. Again, it gave me a little bit to sort of tweak it all out and plan it all out. I know there are a lot of YouTubers who schedule. You know, they do like uploads on Tuesdays and Fridays. I don't think I'm going to be that way, at least not right now. Because I kind of really want to see how this is all going to work out and um yeah you know what i mean because it's a lot here and there is a lot i want to show you but uh, i just i don't want to like overwhelm myself but uh, those are my plans okay and i will try to figure it all out uh, as far as how often and things like that but those are the types of things i really want to bring to you guys uh, if you guys have any suggestions, I know I have two requests. Like I said, the one is what I ate in a day and one is following me around uh, while I grocery shop. And I'm going to be doing those. I'm going to be working on those. Um, so anyways, my friends, that's it. I've babbled on far too long. Um, let me know what your goals are. Let me know what you guys are doing. Let me know what excites you for this 2019. If you do YouTube videos, let me know. My main one is to get healthy. You know, without health, I can't do any of this. And and I've been that way for years. Everything has been a struggle. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I'm feeling so much better, so much better. And I just want to take you on this connecting the dots journey. That's probably one, one that I'm most excited about, if I have to tell you guys that one, my health. All right, my friends, I will let you go. Let me know, please, what your goals are. And I will see you guys uh, during the year. All right, guys, bye.